Uh, this is Sunny Penu, Investor Relations for Monorum Gold, and we're here at the 2012 Service Summit in Spokane. And today we're going to have a talk with Dr. Peter Magaw, one of the most successful geologists in Mexico. Uh, and we're going to go over major, major discoveries in Mexico, or quote unquote elephant exploration hunting in Mexico. Peter. Morning, Sonny. Uh, obviously, we have to get the disclaimers out of the way first. I'm not completely independent here. I'm a director, and I'm involved with a number of the properties that uh, are the basis of Menorum. So, you know, just tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and your history and experience in Mexico. Uh, I started working in Mexico in the mid-70s. Um, have been working there in exploration or academically ever since, full-time, <coughs> excuse me, uh, since 1988. Uh, in regional exploration for major companies, junior companies. Uh, we've put together several very successful property packages, made major discoveries for Mag Silver at Fresnillo, at the Juan Escipio project, and Cinco de Mayo in Chihuahua, and we're hoping to do it again. Uh, collectively, our geologic ideas are responsible for the discovery of over 850 million ounces of silver. So we're hoping in team with Dave Jones, who with whom we acquired some of the properties for Minarum, who's also responsible for the Los Filos deposit down in the Guerrero Gold Belt, uh, that we can do it again for Minarum. Why Mexico is a very fertile area for these significant new discoveries, it being the number of new discoveries each year have been increasing as well. So Peter, you want to talk about that a little bit in terms of the elephant exploration hunting there? Yeah, and I think that's a, that's, a good, that's a good point, Sonny, that, that not only is Mexico well endowed and not only has it produced 25% of all the silver in human history, it's done it from enormous deposits. Right. Uh, of the world's 14 billion plus ounce silver producers, half of them are in Mexico. Right. And the big discoveries that have been made in gold over the last 10 to 15 years have been very large deposits, deposits that will produce 250 to perhaps half a million ounces of gold a year, which puts them in the rank of the world's biggest gold deposits. Exactly. And that's what makes it so exciting to be exploring in a territory where you have the potential to do that um, and bring it online in a relatively short period of time. Right. What Peter actually drew up was this, uh, this chart here, which I'm going to bring up, which talks about the number of gold discoveries to date and um, gold and silver production. And I'll just let Peter talk about that. This is a very important point to understand. Well the, well, the chart here basically shows silver and gold production in Mexico since the Spanish conquest in 1521. And you can see that things were very active in the late 1800s into the early 1920s. This approximately coincides with when Mexico put in what was called nationalization, require, Mexicanization requiring 51% minimum Mexican ownership of the mines. In uh, 1976, the Mexican companies acquired control and they began, began to apply modern mining techniques to large deposits that had been underexploited. That's what resulted in most of this boom. And then the most interesting thing is what's happened in the last six years is a huge spike. Gold going from about 800,000 ounces of production a year to 2.7. There's a million ounce scale break here. Silver has followed with it. Most of that silver actually is byproduct from the new gold deposits. This chart over here shows just since 2000 the influence of the major mines that have been coming online in Mexico over the last 10 years. Peñasquito, Palmarejo, Pinos Altos, Dolores, Los Filos especially. Uh, Los Filos being important because that's in the heart of the Guerrero Gold Belt, uh, which is an emerging new area where 20 million ounces of gold have been discovered in the last 15 years. Production is just ramping up, so there's every reason to believe that this this graph is going to continue to increase over the next few years. It's very interesting how gold and silver has been increasing in terms of the production every year. Can you touch on the, you know, there's been a lot of talk about reserves depleting, or grades depleting, um, and what's being done about that? And, you know, such things as this Gura Gold Belt is becoming a very uh, uh, interesting area in terms of new discoveries. Can you just t touch on a little bit about that? Um, that's a little harder to answer, but um, as, as gold prices and silver prices have gone up, people have been mining progressively lower and lower grade deposits. So the amount of gold and silver in the Earth's crust is still very, very substantial and there's lots of room to increase production. 
Um, my preference is to focus on quality ounces rather than number of ounces, uh, go for deposits that have good grade that will make money at well below the current market prices for those metals. So you're buffered against increases in costs um, and you get to sleep at night because you don't have to worry about becoming uneconomic if the price of gold drops $100 an ounce. So let's go back on the exploration side of things. Um, what is the what is the geology mix in Mexico? There, you know, there's epithermal vein system, there's scar mineralization. How is that important in terms of having these new discoveries come to play for production? Well, Mexico is characterized by a series of sort of parallel northwest southeast trending belts that just stripe across the country, um, like the the stripes on the American flag. And in certain environments, you get the high-level epithermal systems. In others, you get the scarn deposits. Uh, these deposits have been in production in many cases. I mean, some of these are discoveries that were made back here during the Spanish colonial era that have gone through one, revi one revival after another, either with new discoveries or new advances in, in extractive technology. Uh, what's, what's most important real, recently, especially in the pr context of the Guerrero Gold Belt, is the recognition of the gold scarns in Mexico, which are very large dispersed gold deposits associated with a very distinctive style of intrusion in placed into thick sections of carbonate rocks. And that's all part of the geologic evolution of Mexico. Uh, you do have thick sections of carbonates and you have just exactly the right styles of intrusions in placed into them at the right time to make the big deposits. That's why the Guerrero Gold Belt is emerging as a whole new area in, in terms of people's geologic perception. Okay, well that wraps up our interview with uh, Mr. Peter Mergoth. Thank you so much for your time, Peter, and uh, sharing some insight into exploring in Mexico and elephant hunting there. Thank you. Thank you, Simon.